Body bags will whore lies. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm your Thursday guy for body bags. And this week I am doing, um... A really interesting movie. Now, this movie came out in um, 1976. So, in four years, it will be a 50-year anniversary. And let's just say this is not the mo kind of movie I'm going to go and watch every single night. You know, maybe maybe like once a year kind of thing. Or like maybe once every few months. Not because it's gory, but because of how... Um, just because of the idea of like who the antagonist is and, you know, whatever... So, the movie is called, Who Can Kill a Child? Um, and it's, alright, so, since the movie's almost 50 years old, I'm gonna go and, like, uh, talk spoilers in some, th some things, since it's so old. So, if you don't want to hear spoilers, you should probably go now, watch the movie first, and then come back. So, you have this English couple, um, where, alright, so, you have an English couple, you know, a guy and a girl, and the girl's pregnant, and they're going on vacation to this island. And unbeknownst to them, all the children on the island the day or two beforehand killed all the adults on the island. Or as, as you know, everyone and anyone they saw kind of thing. Um, so they get there. It's like, it looks normal at first, except for the, I, except for the fact that there's no adults there. Um, and then, you know, it's... You know, before they know it, they realize what's going on, and they're kind of trapped. So, they basically have to fight and, and survive on the island, and... The idea of the movie is interesting, right? It's what inspired, you know, Children of the Corn, Stephen King, and them. But, I mean, the thing I don't like about this movie, and it's not that it's bad, it's just because, you know... Don't get me wrong, this is a really good movie, really well made. It's just... The fact that they're using children as the antagonist, you know, because this is the children that are killing people, and you don't know why, and you don't, like, never told why. Um, and then, like, the ending is just one of those kind of endings that's like, oh my god, it's like right there, kind of thing. Um, but, like, it's a good movie, it's just, it's not the kind of movie I would go and watch, right? So, I mean... The one, the one, all right, so the one thing I was intrigued, because I, it was just really weird, not weird, but it was really interesting, was the poster, right? You see the children in the background, and you see a person holding, like, a machine gun just, like, sitting, standing there, and all the children just standing there, right? And it's like, oh, that's interesting, what's that? I wonder how that's gonna play out if that's even in the movie. And so, you know, spoilers are about the hit, so, I mean, if you don't want to know, you better, like, all right, go now, kind of thing. But I'm not going to go and just, like, be spoiler this, spoiler that. I won't tell you how this or that happens. But in the end of the day, the wife ends up dying. And so you get to this point where it's, like, the next day. Because, like, she dies overnight. Um, He's just, like, you know, he's just, like, walking through the town. You know, or, you know, whatever. Um, You know, depressed or whatever because it's just him. And he's holding this gun. And then he ends up, you know, stumbling. and Not stumbling. He ends up walking towards this wall of children. And then, then there's the shot. And then, they're, you know, it's just like, oh, my God, what's about to happen? And then he just <laughs> shoots, like, not all of them, but, like, a good chunk of them. And then he just runs through them trying to get to the boat. And so I thought that was in an interesting concept. Concept. Now, the entire movie is a really nice concept. It's just, you know, it's, it's like, you know how, like, Saw is basically a guy that's torturing people to death, in a sense? You know, it's not like a person, it's, there's some people that like that stuff. I don't know how, you know, but, like, other people wouldn't really like it because it's, like, torture films. And it, that's just, you know, I don't like seeing people get tortured. Just like how I don't see, how I don't like seeing children kill people. Unless there's a solid explanation kind of thing, like Pet Cemetery, you know? But this, you don't under you don't, you don't get told why, it's just, it's just kind of happens. Now, you know, in the beginning of the movie, before the movie itself starts, they have this, like, five to ten minute montage of, like, old war films of, like, you know, depraved, hungry, you know, just, like, dead, you know, people. And, like, most of them are, like, children or whatever because, like, they want to have set this tone of, like, you know, 
children die because of war and famine and, you know, now they're going to get you kind of thing. <laughs> you know? So, I mean, as I said, this was a really nice movie. It's just that kind of movie where, you know, you're going to be like, it's good, but I don't know if I want to watch it again because it's children killing people, right? Um, but it was a good movie. Now, the movie's like... It's a little less than two hours. It's like an hour and 45 to 50 minutes. So, I mean, it, it, it feels long. Like, the first half of it feels long. But then when you get to, like, the last 20, 30 minutes, it's like, okay, you know. But, like, it was really slow in the beginning. Because, like, the beginning is, like, it's like, it's like 20 or 30 minutes of them before getting on the island. And it's just like, oh, my God. Right? But yeah, good movie. I would rate this. Um, I would rate this an eight point one. How about that? It's a good film. It's not my cup of tea, but I will admit this is a good movie. You know, like it. You know, you're a sports fan, but you know the team's bad, so you're being honest, kind of thing. You know, you might not like the other team, but you gotta be honest that that team's good. It's like this. You know, it's like. This is a good movie, but, like, you know, do I want to watch this again? Eh, I don't know. Although, I like the twists and stuff that they have in the movie. It's pretty interesting, though. And the concepts. So, it's like, in plain terms, what I would call this movie, it's like, obviously, a mix of, like, Children of the Corn and then Anthropophagus. I think that's what it's called, what that movie's called. It feels like a mix of those two. Um, and maybe even a little bit of the wind, mainly because of the wind and anthropophagus of, you know, the setting. It seems like it's a ghost town. It's like a European kind of ghost town, you know. That's what it looks like anyways. Anyways, that was Who Can Kill a Child. I sure can't. Um, but yeah, that was who, that was the movie for this week, Who Can Kill a Child. And then next week... Oh, yeah, next week's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. I was supposed to do it last week, but I was like, wait a minute. No, I got to do this movie first, and then I'll do that movie next week, or, you know, however it's going to be. Next week's m movie is going to be really good. I have high hopes for it. It's going to be that kind of movie where I'm like, this is either going to be really bad or really funny slash cheesy, and I'm hoping it's the latter. But we'll find out when I go and watch it, and then I'll tell you how it is. Tell you if you should watch it or not. This movie, you know, you should at least watch it one time. At least once, and if you don't like it, then, you know, whatever. I'll go and give you the, my copy. <laughs> just plain. I'm keeping this just to say I have it. Anyways, I'm Sam, your Thursday guy for body bags, and I will see you next week. Bye.